Mr. Father. I'm angry. My name is Father. You all know Flint Farmer, cause it was on Channel 7 News, Channel 9 News, Channel 2 News. It was on all the news stations. And I knew the Alvarez still didn't indict this police officer. She got to go. After it was caught on the dash cam mm. of the police car, this police officer shooting while son in the back while he laid prostate on the ground. Caught dead on camera. On camera. And they still didn't indict the police officer. What more evidence can you get? Dead. Dead wrong, caught, seen the flashes of his gun. Him walking around with my son, just shooting him. He already had shot him four times. Shot him four times, then gonna shoot him three times in the back. The coroner said that's what killed him. Okay. Murderers. They murdered my son. Okay. On camera, it was on the news. All the news, and didn't, no, the police officer did not get indicted. The police department rule did a justifiable homicide. Yes. What kind of mess is that? Yes. This is crazy. We want justice. Yes. We want justice for all these families. Yes. They are killing our kids. Yes. They killing our people. When we want justice. No justice. No, no peace. peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Come on now, Deshaun Pittman. There he is. Me and um, Emmy have a history. The same officer that killed Flint Farmer is the same officer that killed Darius Pineax. Okay. Oh, okay. Can, can we say that on the mic? Into yeah, that? speaking yeah. that. Now say that. Now get this on camera. Okay. The same officer that killed Flint Farmer is the same officer that killed Darius Pineax. Mm -hmm. The same year. 2011, January the 7th, my son was murdered in his car in a routine traffic stop. Now, had they done what they supposed to have done with Sierra, he wouldn't have never got a chance to get to Flint. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if they took him off the streets when they were supposed to, when I asked him to, he wouldn't have never got a chance to get to Flint Farm. But they didn't do that. They labeled my son's homicide as justifiable as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I told him I wasn't going nowhere. I meant that, and I'm still here today. All right, all right. I want justice for my son and everybody else's child out here. And I meant that I've been to Ferguson as well. I applauded those guys for standing up, and I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with Chicago. You know, we need our people to stand up here. And once they stand up, Gloria's here. Mm -hmm. Ain't going nowhere. Amen. No justice, no, no peace. peace. Right, right, right. No, right. Peace. Right. no justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. How do you think we feel? Not only do we got to worry about criminals on the street, we got to worry about the police. Not only do we got to worry about criminals on the street, not to worry about the police. Man, I hear that. I say, not only do we got to worry about the criminals on the street, we got to worry about the police. So how do you think we feel that the people that's supposed to protect and serve our communities are only protecting their own and serving death to the residents? That's right. That's right. And they say these shootings are justified. You show me. You show us as a whole how any one of these shootings is justified. We waiting. Time is ticking. Time ticking. Three years.